Um, yeah, so how's pre-season going? Still a wee way away before the, the first game, so yeah, how's everyone finding it? Yeah, obviously a long pre-season. I think uh, everybody just getting well drilled into uh, obviously the manager's plans and how he wants us to set up this season. Uh, we've had a few good games, uh, test ourselves out a little bit, but we uh, head to Sydney and uh, we'll be obviously tested by uh, obviously better opposition. Yeah, is it going to be good to be playing those? Because I guess that's one problem with being a football team in, in Wellington, New Zealand, is it's a bit hard to kind of find pre-season opposition. Yeah, of course. Obviously, you want to test yourself against uh, A-League uh, quality, and I think that for us to see where we're at. And I think uh, as a team, uh, so obviously a lot of young new players coming to the group and to see where they are as well. And so the coach said last week that there's one final piece of the puzzle to go. Um, so I guess the, the squad is pretty much done. Um, how do you kind of analyse this year's squad compared to, to last season? Yeah, it's completely different. I think we're set up completely different to uh, last year. Uh, the players who come in all hungry, uh, players obviously to prove a point. And uh, yeah, it's an exciting young group and uh, the experienced heads as well going through the core of the side, which need a little bit of balance. It's um, important for us, everyone who wants to go, obviously the, the finals football, but we're still hurt, the players who were here last year. When we got uh, against Melbourne Victory, we felt uh, very uh, frustrated. I think that was the biggest thing for me after, the, especially the, the first 30 minutes, and getting a little taste of that is definitely uh, yeah, it's a bit hurt actually. Because there is quite a lot of young players in the, the team this year. Do you like their approach? Um, yeah, going going a lot younger. It's fantastic. I think you need that kind of energy. Uh, the young boys and what they've been shown as well in pre-season is, it's like when I was young, uh, the manager always said to me, he said, if you're, if you're good enough, you're old enough. And it's similar now with the manager. He's shown faith in these uh, young players that have come in. And great to see some of the Kiwi kids stepping up to the plate and uh, you know performing, you know, sh not shying away. And uh, it'd be great to see them get the opportunity this season. Yeah, because we saw some of the, the young guys score on the, the weekend. Yeah, is it good to, to see the young ones kind of taking their chance? In the 100%. Season? And it's, for me, it's to see it's phenomenal. I see it on a day-to-day -day basis, playing against them training with them uh, the excitement you know sometimes you see a lot of young players uh, crumble under pressure but they just want to they take it by the, the scruff of the hands and yeah they, they deserve to be here and uh, they're showing it at the moment especially in the games we've been playing but obviously against better opposition uh, it will be obviously a big test for them but yeah I think for me um, it's exciting and we're all looking forward to it. I think it's a a couple of weeks you're going to be spending in, in Sydney. Is it good in pre-season to have that time together as a team? You need to. I think you've got to get around. We've been around this uh, training ground for a while now and to get in different surroundings. Um, a bit of heat in the shoulders as well. What a beautiful day it is today here. Uh, but for me, it's yeah, it's exciting um, to be out there. We did something similar last year. It worked well. So, uh, yeah, same again this year. It'll be nice. Is it just a bit of an urge or a sense of an urge to, to get going with the season? Are you actually feet with... You know, you can only spend so many days here and and um, having time between games. Is there an urge to just get going with the season? A lot of people will think that, but I think for us it's about we've got obviously a new group of players, especially young players coming into it, uh, what the manager wants us to do. And uh, yeah, we want to make sure we're well drilled on that and uh, not be caught off guard. I think the start of last season we got away with the first game against Newcastle Jets, but then we struggled for a few uh, games. Um, so we don't want any mistakes or any hiccups like that. We, uh, we know as a, as a group what's expected. Um, but yeah, I think the confidence is definitely shown in the games that we've been playing. But like I said, like we've got to be tested a bit better now against these uh, better opposition. Just on, on this team here and the makeup of this team, what have you seen that gives you sort of confidence that this team can really compete in this competition this year? Well, the big thing I think the manager has shown is obviously he wants everybody well drilled and you know the game plan that we set up to to show. And I think uh, the energy the uh, young boys are giving it us, and obviously the core of the side, very experienced. So. There's plenty of bit of a mixture with everything that's going on, um, but we've still got time. We've still got uh, obviously time in our hands with what we want to do. So we'll try and execute that, and uh, yeah, look forward to the season starting. Between I guess you and the other guys that were here last year, what advice have you given to the younger guys or the guys that have come in, obviously with the weight of I guess maybe expectation to repeat what happened last year and go further? So, so what advice have you got for those? Obviously, I've mentioned about the uh, the Melbourne game. We got the finals football, and it was it was uh, yeah disappointment for us. I think we fell short and uh, if I look back now we probably didn't deserve to go on. Um, that's one thing we've got to look at this year is make sure we have uh, strength and depth I think looking throughout the side. Um, we had a lot of players playing out of position because uh, of injuries and all sorts so for us this year we've, we've kind of covered that kind of scenario so far but like I said it's game by game and you not get uh, too carried away um, never get too uh, high when you win the game and never get too uh, low when you lose the game it's just getting that happy medium and for the young players is uh, 
you know, don't get ahead of yourself. I think for us last year, uh, we didn't have that kind of energy all around the pitch, which is what we've got this year. So it's exciting for uh, Wellington Phoenix and the fans as well. A uh, new fresh look and uh, the manager's hungry. And there uh, we are, we're looking forward to it. Because do you feel like there is more depth this year? It seems like we've signed a lot of players that can play multiple positions. Yeah, I think, look, last year we had num number 10s playing deep. We had uh, different fullbacks playing all over the uh, pitch. We had a striker playing a fullback. Um, so that was a problem for us. I think a few games that we had, to, we had to do that because of the injuries were hard. We didn't have players who could play in certain positions. But the manager's first time, he, he's, he's done that and he's got the players um, in all positions now fighting for uh, each other's places. We've got strength and depth at the back and we can revolve to a, a five, a four. So it's, uh, it's good for us. You know, we've, we've been working on a lot of things during the game. If things aren't going well, we can uh, do different types of uh, systems and you need that. Because is that good when, um, I guess, players can't really take their starting spot for granted? Like, I guess last season you could kind of pick a starting 11 where, where the season year there seems to be yeah, more, more options. Well, I think last year maybe the manager didn't have the players who he probably wanted to have. Um, some players didn't live up to their expectations. And that's one thing as a professional footballer you have to deliver. And uh, if you don't, you won't be here. Um, and the players here are hungry and they want to get to that next spot. And, uh, leave the success here at the football club and I, I touched upon it at the start of the season is uh, you got to leave your legacy and for this football club uh, there's no reason why they can't go and, uh, and do obviously a lot of success here. Just quickly on your captaincy, a couple of months into it, um, how have you found managing your, your, I guess your captaincy and your leadership and, and have you brought anything different into the team that um, you felt was needed? No, at all I think I'm very lucky with the, the squad I've got. Uh, the young players, everyone, we've got leaders coming from the, the youth levels and coming up now and uh, yeah, they've made my job very easy. I think I just keep doing what I do every day, coming in, uh, be a leader around the place. I've done that all my career and it's good to be around players like that as well. You know, uh, look at Lukey Devere, Bali who's come in there from England, the experience they're bringing. Uh, you know, Alex Rufa, you know, phenomenal. He was, for me, last year my play of the season. He was outstanding. Um, and the players, yeah, the young ones have stepped up to the play and uh, it's, going to be, it's going to be good.